I knew I wanted to be a doctor ever since I was little. I never imagined um, wanting to be anything else for my profession, but more specifically, when I came to UMass Boston, my sophomore year during the pandemic, I took some social behavioral classes like psychology and sociology, and I narrowed it down to neurology, so I want to be a neurologist after medical school, and I just really thought psychology was really interesting, and then when I started taking the classes, um, I just really enjoyed it, and right now I'm in behavioral neuroscience, and that's probably the deepest I'm going to get in, like, in undergrad for my field, and I really enjoy it, and I think it's a really interesting class. I started to take, like, the psychology classes during the pandemic. Um, I really think a lot of people, especially during the pandemic, were like not necessarily going crazy, but a lot of people started to see some like issues they started to have and that really affected with a lot of people's brains and like like anxiety, stress, like all different mental health issues. And I really when I started taking those classes during the pandemic, I started to actually learn a lot through the class and like through myself and other people around me about those issues. And I really enjoyed it. And I really um, thought that that was like really interesting. So that's why I wanted to study it further. I'm working on a cognitive science um, research project in cognitive science is like psychology, but it's the study of the mind instead of the study of the brain. So that research is UMass Boston based, and it's based on inclusive student success at the university. And we're studying policies like math policies and academic standing at the university and how we can change those policies to make the university better and the student experience better at UMass Boston. It's really interesting and it feels really good to know that I can make a change at the school I go to right now, especially because I'm enrolled in the school right now. Like it's not like I already graduated. So it's just it feels really good to know I can work on something and improving my school that I'm at right now. Learning about the brain and the mind has helped me as a student athlete because it just makes me aware of like my own thoughts and feelings like like on and off the court or the field and like how to deal with things like stress and anxiety because there's a lot of that being a student athlete, especially at the college level because it's very intense.